Hello everybody, hope you are doing well. Well, today we are going to start working or on our inbox view. So this is the view that we will be working on it. So and so let's start coding. And this is where we left in the last video. We will start in our inbox. Let's create a new group. Let's call it a view. Inside our view group, we will create a new file. It will be a Swift UI view and we will call it inbox view. Okay, perfect. And inside our main tab bar view, I want to call inbox view instead of this text. Okay, perfect. Okay, so first of all, we will need a navigation stack. And now let's see the screen that we will be building. As you can see, we got this list, uh, which is this whole list, and we got this button that is above this list. And uh, it's taken or it's placed in the bottom trailing of our list. To do so, it's very easy using a component called a Z stack. So let me show you what I'm talking about. We will call a Z stack, uh, we will give it an alignment of the bottom trailing. Uh, people who watch my tutorial series, you know I don't like it uh, when it's written this way. I think this way it's cleaner. Okay, and here we will have our list. Our list will have a list style of plain of plain list style here we will make for each for now uh, zero to five it doesn't matter for now uh, let's say text uh, test for now Okay, perfect. After our list, in the bottom trail and position, we want this button, so it will be a button with an action and label. The action will be empty for the label. It will be rounded rectangle with a corner radius of 10. It will be dot fill with color dot dark gray it will have a frame with width and height of 50 we will give it a padding and then we will make an overlay and here we will have an image system name and let me check the name of the image it's uh, plus.bubble.fill plus.bubble.fill and we will give it a foreground style of dot white okay perfect uh, the other thing is uh, Uh, this one we want uh, uh, the, uh, the navigation bar and this toolbar to do so we will use a modifier called a toolbar so dot toolbar and again I don't like it this way this way I think it's a lot cleaner in the first one it will be toolbar item in the first one we will have this text called whatsapp so it will be top, top bar leading and here it will be a text called whatsapp with a font of dot title free with a font weight of semi bold uh, 
for the color it should be white but uh, until I implement the color of the navigation bar let's keep it this way for now I'm, do, I'm going to do it in this video but just later okay for this one it will be a toolbar item I'm going to implement this one it will be like you can see it's a nest tag so it will be top bar trailing and it will be a nest tag with a spacing of 24 and here I will have image the first one is system name camera uh, the second one is image system name uh, magnifying glass and the last one it will be image system name ellipses and we will give it font weight of dot semi bold uh, this one too should be white but until we implement the navigation bar that we are going to implement now that's when we will change it to white so in component let's create a new group let's call it modifiers okay and inside this group let's create a new file it will be a swift file it will be navigation bar color modifier or not that way I will create extract let's call it a navigation bar color of type view modifier and we will Okay, and for some reason it's not okay I apologize <laughs> I need to import Swift UI okay and here we call body and it will be but before that let's make var background color of type color and here it will be content dot background and we give it the background color we will also add an initializer and here it will be let color it appearance equal UI navigation bar appearance and here it will be color appearance dot background color equal background color then it will be UI navigation bar dot appearance dot standard appearance equal colored appearance and also we will pass you i navigation bar dot appearance dot scroll edge appearance also equal colored appearance okay and uh, of course uh, should be ui color of background color okay perfect 
We could call it this way, but I usually prefer to add an extension to view. And here we add a function with the same name, just the first character it will be lowercase. Takes as a parameter, of course, background color of type color, and it returns uh, some view. And here we write return modifier, and we call our function that we just created navigation bar color, and with a background color that we just passed in parameter, or as a parameter. Okay, perfect. Now we will pass this, or we will use it. In my text here, I will give him a foreground style of dot white, and I will call dot navigation bar, and I will give him color dot dark gray. Okay, perfect. And this one also, I will give it a, a foreground style of dot white. Okay, perfect. If I go to my tab bar view, okay, you see it's starting to look uh, very similar to our. Uh, final app in the that's all for today's video in the next video we will import we will implement the inbox row view which is this one so in the meantime i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like subscribe and see you in the next video bye bye